As educators, our aim is to give the children the best possible start in life. And in the 21st century, technology is at the core of our life. So therefore, we have to have technology at the core of our education system. Smart offer a range of technologies which help us achieve our vision for teaching and learning. The way we're using the smart products is to try and integrate them into every part of the lesson. What we've set out to do is to replicate traditional methods just electronically. Using all of the smart products together really gives you an interesting lesson. On Notebook you have everything that you need. It kind of brings all of the aspects together. So you would have your children working on the devices using Smart Notebook, then using Sync to feed that back to the teacher, using the document camera to demonstrate aspects of the lesson to the children and the Smart Notebook file to display it all. The way Notebook works is that it does actually enable the teacher to set and model the lesson within one piece of software. So you can have the introductory part to the lesson, you can have the activities, you can have some self-assessment tasks in there, and in one file you can actually produce a total learning journey for that child. And it's that simplicity of creating that digital wrapper that actually acts as the glue that bonds all of the elements of hardware and software together and makes it work. SmartSync has so many advantages for the, the enabling work to just flow between computers in a way that it's never done before. You can also easily demonstrate. If you're demonstrating and sending that demonstration out to the children on their machines, they've got it right in front of them. They can focus on their screen and they can actually see it happening in front of them. We can send smart notebook files to the actual table so you can have a group of children working on the table on the file that the rest of the class may be using uh, through the machines. It's taking the learning a little bit further so they engage with it and that I think encourages them and enthuses them. What we've done in Wolverhampton is empowered the children by giving them access to the same software that the teacher has got. It does motivate me. It's more interesting than just writing it down on a piece of paper. With the homework you can download it to the learning platform, you can go home access the learning platform and open it back up and do some more work and when you're finished with it you just do voice versa, to save it, go back to school, open it and then it's at school. Well, I think he finds it interesting and fun at the same time. We would both sit down and uh, have a look at it. The more he learns, the more he wants to learn so that's always good. The children love the response tool. They love to feel like they're on a game show, I think. It allows discussion to happen straight away. It's really simple, really easy to do. It gives you an idea of, of the, how you've pitched your lesson and what the learners might need for the next time. It gives us a chance to help correct each other and learn from each other in different ways. And it gets us more motivated for learning. The children actually expect to use technology as part of their learning experience now. I think by embracing technology what we've seen is uh, a huge increase in the motivation of the children. We've also seen a visible uh, increase in learning. The world is changing. If we're going to be good educators and if we're going to match the children's education to the world outside, then we have to embed technology in. I think as soon as you walk into a classroom where you see this digital ecosystem working well and you can almost feel the atmosphere and feel tangible learning taking place. To a head teacher who were interested in implementing the technology in their school, I would say come and have a look. Come and have a look at the magic that this technology is giving to our children. <laughs>